We just made this Christmas topiary and we'll show you how we did it right, right now. now. What is up? Welcome back. <laughs> so this week, Kim gives me these plans. These plans. It says, I need these shapes cut out of wood. The biggest one is 18 inches wide. So I found some wood and I cut the shapes out. Some plywood I found around the garage and I painted them white. That's as, as far as I know right now. That is because I have these cute little planters for the front porch that need some holiday decorations. As I was searching on Pinterest, I saw this cute little idea of these stacked presents and it was super cute, but I couldn't quite figure out how to make those work. So I combined two ideas into one idea. So this is what we're gonna do. Idea combiner. So we're going to take these plywood shapes and make them look like presents. And then we're going to attach three stacked presents on, can you hand me that little, uh, fence, no, the fence post thing, uh, fence picket thing. This thing. We're gonna get, when we get done, we're gonna put this down into the planter. You following me? I'm following. And we're gonna attach these presents to this fence picket. I gotcha. Now, they're not shaped like, can you take this please? Thanks. They're not shaped like your average presents because I want them to be whimsical. Oh. So this one's going to be curved this way. They're gonna be kind of cartoony shaped. So, yeah, okay. all right, here are my very technical plans. From here, we're just winging it. We're doing this all on film. We're winging it. So for this one, I'm thinking red and white stripes with a green ribbon on the side with white polka dots. Lime green with a red and white thin stripe. White with red dots and a, a red bow ribbon in the center. It's a lot of painting, right? It's just a lot yeah. of painting. Step one, we gotta paint these things. All right. Okay, so for the ribbons for the insides of these presents, we're gonna use some stencils. Or for this one I am, for that one I'm not. So I've got a striped stencil here that I'm gonna put on an angle and we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that's a lot of stripe. Yeah, you think I need to use the- Ooh, ooh, wait, I got an idea. I got an idea, I saw something. Screens. Oh. I got these screens. Got these screens on the internet. They're silk <laughs> on screens. The, internet. the interwebs. I got it on the interwebs. So I saw this stuff. Chalk couture. Chalk couture. Couture. Chalk couture. They were like reusable stencils, the vinyl ones. So I was like, hey, I want to try to make my own. So I grabbed some silk screens and I just put it in the paint. So instead of wasting it, we're gonna try to make a reusable striped stencil. Then you're gonna have to put transfer tape on it first. Yeah. Then transfer it to here. But how are you going to make this? So I, I got I got your I got it. Yeah. But you have to pull this thing really taut. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. We'll, uh -huh. we'll, we'll do it. Uh-huh. We got it. Mm-mm. Yeah. All right. I think you need something to make it taut. Alright, you transfer tape. Yeah, that. Just do the transfer tape. I will cut this. Ugh, I feel like someone's been cutting metal with these scissors. Yeah. <clears throat> well, wait a minute. It's not taut. It will be. Calm down. It's, been, it's not taut because you keep pulling at it. <laughs> Inappropriate. Inappropriate. We're going to get hate comments. It was a joke. Doop. All right, now taut it, taut it, taut it, babe. Well, I, uh... I'm in, I'm down. This is where it lives. This is where it lives now. <laughs> not bad, not bad. All right, let's see how it paints. 
Which one are we doing, this one? Yes. All right, now just laying it across like this. Yep. Eh, because it's not sticky on the back. Theirs was sticky somehow. So we try again and add some adhesive to the back. We try again. <laughs> eh, not bad. Not perfect, but we can reuse the stencil. We'll figure out how to make it stick later. And for this one, we're going to use another stencil. We're going to use a polka dot stencil and we're going to put red and green polka dots on here. Balls, maybe they're like Christmas balls. All right, we're going to try the Silk screen stencil again. This time we put some spray adhesive on the back. We'll see how that works. All right, what do you think? All right, I think it looks pretty good. I have high hopes. Fingers crossed, let's see if this worked. Oh, I'm stuck to the paper. Uh... That's what we got. I tried to use a dry brush. It's okay. It's a, I, I kind of like the look. All right, we have our presents painted. Next step is to attach them to our fence picket, which I don't know how we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna have, let me put this down here. So I'm just gonna set this on the inside and the big present goes on the bottom. I think it goes that way. I think it goes like that. First presents on. Man, I burnt the crap out of it. Her whole face is white. <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. Yeah, you should get up there close and show me your massive blister. Yeah, that thing was quick. Hot glue. It's no joke. It's no joke. Those are those Gorilla Glue sticks. Man, no thanks. <laughs> you finished without me? Are we done? I think we're done. Oh, it looks pretty good. You guys want to see? Uh, no, don't bend it. <laughs> it's reaching the ceiling. All right, ceiling. our ceilings aren't that tall, so uh, pretty good. All right, we'll have to... We'll show you the photo montage. Yeah, we'll get you in the montage. <clears throat> ah, good job, babe. Yet again, good job. You like to do it yourself. Build it yourself. Make it yourself. So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. There's a subscribe button. Other videos to watch, <laughs> subscribe button.